with me as always is Adam Navis. Adam Navis. And um, today we are going to have a real conversation between two native English speakers. And we are going to talk about this week's program, The Amazing and Terrible Mosquito. So, Adam. Yes. Uh, maybe you feel like most people around the world. How do you feel about mosquitoes? I think that mosquitoes must have some place, some 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 role to play in the ecosystem as food, right. as some kind of biological balance, but I do not like them. Yeah. So, uh, this program you learn all about mosquitoes from like uh, when they are born all the way through how they live, how far they can travel. Uh, if you haven't checked out this program, you can visit the link in uh, the show notes below or above at the link. Um, but I think you probably learned a lot about mosquitoes in this program, right, Adam? Yeah, I mean, some of the things I knew, but I did learn... Uh more than I wanted to, more than I ever needed yeah. to about mosquitoes. Yeah. Although, you know, thinking about your ecosystem question, I'm not really sure it answers that sort of question. Like, what is the purpose of mosquitoes? I Just always, to spread disease? Yeah, I assume they were for food for birds and bats. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably a good guess. So we can talk about this a little later, but of course, okay, so... We know that mosquitoes, some mosquitoes, spread disease, right? right. Um, the program talks about that, how they can spread like, yellow fever, malaria, um, other other diseases, yes. viruses. And um, we should say, for, any, for people who don't know the word mosquito, um, yes. they are, I don't know if they bite or suck blood from animals and humans. They do. They do. Both of them. Okay, so um, mosquitoes do bother animals and humans, and they can transmit uh, viruses because they're dealing with so much blood. They actually, they actually insert a part of their mouth under your skin. Yeah, I'll bet you love that. Um, and then what they do is they inject a sort of... Uh, poison or like set like a substance into your skin to make your blood flow faster into the mosquito which when they leave that uh that little toxin is what leaves the bump and the itchy yeah. uh the itchy red bump on you when the mosquito leaves yeah so and that affects animals and humans uh and so because they're dealing with all that blood they right. spread diseases that way right so normally uh, the mosquito it, it itchy for a little while maybe a day or two you can put some cream on it no big deal except when they transmit diseases because of what you're talking about correct right right yeah and so you know there are ways that people have tried to get rid of mosquitoes we give some we give some tips on how you can avoid mosquitoes at the end of the program which i thought were good mm -hmm. um but there are also, I think it's in the, I'm not actually sure what program it's in. Maybe I'll find it and I'll link it below. Um, but where we talk about um, to eradicate diseases. So for example, to get rid of malaria, why couldn't you just get rid of all mosquitoes? Right? So there are yeah. some like scientists and researchers who study how you can maybe make all mosquitoes sterile so yeah. they're not able to have more babies or um or that you just i don't know you have some poison that you put in that only affects mosquitoes but how does that affect the ecosystem i know down the line? it's fascinating stuff with this genetic modification um yeah yeah but it uh it is a question when you start, when you, if you could, let's say they were successful and you eliminated all mosquitoes, could you really anticipate every effect that would, would come from that? And I don't think you could. Yeah, that's the question, right? And, and once you've gotten rid of all the mosquitoes, what if it was the wrong move? Yeah. And then you've, you've taken away a part of this ecosystem, mm -hmm. then how do you add it back in? Right. Uh, 
So we have that problem with a lot of things. So there is All an the English things. word uh, for plants that we call <clears throat> weed. Now this is not this is not marijuana, but this is this is what we call an invasive species, something we don't want in our lawns or gardens or anywhere near us. But that the weed, the word weed is not a scientific term. It just means a plant that's growing, right? And yeah. uh, if we get rid of it, if we use chemicals or or change that because we don't like it, because as humans, we don't like it, we there could be consequences for um, that we can't anticipate. And yeah, so where does it end? True. We stop, we start with mosquitoes. Maybe there's a plant we don't like. Maybe we go to a bird or a fish, which also can be invasive. Right. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot, there's layers and layers of questions here. Yeah. There really are. And like, where do you, where do you stop? Okay. So, uh, I did want to talk about some of these facts about mosquitoes in this program, because there were some very interesting facts. Okay. Hit For me. example. Okay. Hit you up. Is that yeah, you hit me. Shoot. Let's go. <laughs> For example. Um, did you know that there are over 3000 different kinds of mosquitoes? I did not until this program. Yeah, that that is incredible to me. Um, again, there must be some part of the ecosystem. Maybe we maybe somebody knows who's watching right now. If you know or have an idea about how mosquitoes are part of the ecosystem, maybe where you where, where you live or just in general. Yeah. Pop a comment below. Are, and, and maybe this is in the program. Are mosquitoes everywhere? I mean, I know that mosquitoes are not in the Arctic. Right, cold weather right. kills mosquitoes. Yeah, right? makes them go dormant. They live mostly in warmer climates, mm -hmm. um, and they they can be there year round. But of course, uh, we live in Michigan, which is not a warm climate, but does get warm. So in the winter, um, in the winter months, we are very cold. We'll have um, we'll get below freezing. We'll have plenty of snow. Right. No, um, no then, bugs or insects. No bugs. Yeah, all the bugs kind things. of die out or go inside for the yeah. winter. Um, but then uh, in the summer, they all come back, including mosquitoes. So in the spring, we will start um, seeing more and more mosquitoes. Yes. And uh, but then again, in the in the winter, they'll all die out. Right. So but yeah, they are a much bigger problem in a uh, consistently warmer climate. Right. And you know, not in colder climates. But not a not a desert because they do require some water to grow, right? Yeah, uh, actually. Um, so some mosquitoes. This is another thing I learned. Um, some mosquitoes like lay their eggs in like small pools of water. Some in larger pools of water. But they all need water. So one of the most important ways that people can avoid mosquitoes, like in um, in, near their homes or places that they can control is um, to get rid of any standing water. So, standing water is a interesting yeah. English phrase. Yes. So standing water is water that is not moving. So you could say okay. still water. Um, so for example, if you have, if it's just rained and there is um, something that has collected that rainwater, you want to make sure and pour that water out so that mm. mosquitoes can't breed in there right. um, because they do need standing water to to breed. Right. And so, yeah, that's a good way to get rid of or avoid mosquitoes in the first place, yeah. not even getting born. <laughs> not even getting born. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing, okay, so another thing that I learned from this program that uh, mosquitoes can sense a host, so a person or an mm. animal that they want to suck blood from, uh, from up to 35 meters away. 35 meters? Yeah, 35 meters. But do they smell us? Do they, they okay, must so smell us. Okay, so this is a very interesting point, Adam, because, um, okay, I will tell you something about myself. I actually do not usually get mosquito bites. Oh. Or if they bite me, they don't they don't itch. Okay. Um, so you know, I and a friend can be sitting outside um 
near the end of the day and um, my friend might get mosquito bites all over. Yeah. And I will maybe get one or usually not any. Wow. I know. It's a pretty pretty you great know why? superpower. Well, okay, so scientists have theories, but they don't really know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like to imagine Some that of... scientists have studied you personally yeah. and they have theories. That's definitely what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have plenty of theories about me. Yeah. Um, no. Um, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> um, no, so what they think is that, um, well, they know that people have smells and chemicals all over their bodies, right? Sure. So pheromones and hormones. Well, are pheromones hormones? Or Probably. just like food smells or right. if you eat a bunch of onions you might smell a little right, onion or garlic yeah so there's all of these smells all over your body and i think i don't know if this is in the program but i think there's something like a thousand different smells or um compounds that are on your skin at at any time right so every wow. person smells very different and they have a different combination yeah. and they think that these and and they're breathing out uh, smells and carbon dioxide. Sure. And they think that mosquitoes are attracted to some of these smells and not others. Here well, was a very interesting one. Yeah. Uh, people with very stinky feet had more um, mosquito bites. Oh, so you must not have very stinky feet. Well, if you are watching this and you have stinky feet, <laughs> let us know. Do you get lots of mosquito yeah. bites? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I, and it's something, it's people who smelled like a very, you know how cheese can be very, very smelly? Yes. People who smelled like or ate this very, very smelly cheese had more mosquito bites. Interesting. So you must... Uh, but of course, there's the old wives' tale. So something that... Um, an old wives' tale is like something that just uh, people pass down. Right. It but might not be had... scientifically yeah. proven in a laboratory, but... Exactly. So this old wives' work. tale says that if you eat garlic, then you smell and taste like garlic to a mosquito, and then a mosquito will avoid you. And that is actually research found not true. Okay. So, well, I'll stop busted. eating garlic then. Yeah, yeah, you can, well, you know, garlic is good. Yeah. Garlic is delicious. Um, but yeah, so there were, there are actually a lot of interesting things about mosquitoes. Yeah. So if you're watching this uh, video and you haven't gone yet because you're just interested in what we have to th say about mosquitoes, go, go uh, watch and listen to this program from the show notes. And yeah, while you're there. there's a, well, just one second. There's a classic version and an advanced version. So you have both options. Yeah. And while you're there, make sure to, you know, like this program and subscribe to it. If you're a first time, if you just came to this and are like, who are these people talking to me? We have <laughs> vast amounts of playlists, both on our website and on our YouTube channel. Um, we try to respond to comments and questions. We apologize if we can't get to them. Um, we have, we, there's just welcome to this community. And we are excited yeah. that you're here and um, you can find us on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Facebook. yeah, YouTube. YouTube, obviously. Yeah, um, make sure that you subscribe and hit the little bell. Yep, get your so notifications. You and yeah, I think I think we've covered everything and we, we look forward to uh, Whatever you have to say about mosquitoes, tell us your stories. Tell us um, if there's anyone. I'd be very curious. I'll end on this note saying if if anyone out there loves mosquitoes, put it in the comments because I have not found someone who really loves I, mosquitoes. I don't think you're going to get anybody on that probably one. Probably not. But I think you're probably going world. to get people who hate mosquitoes. It's a big world. Yeah, it is a big world. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you later. All right, bye.